Please welcome to the TEDxSF stage, Gavin Yamey. Of the seven million children who died last year before the age of five, two-thirds could have been saved by applying existing knowledge, knowledge that was just sitting there on the shelf. That's nearly five million child deaths because of a gap between evidence and action. Take diarrhea, for example, an incredibly unglamorous disease that, let's face it, nobody really wants to talk about. It kills around a million children a year. And you know, we could end practically all of those deaths if we gave each affected child two basic remedies, zinc tablets and oral rehydration solution. And that combination, shown in the picture here, it costs just pennies. And yet a recent study found that many health policymakers simply don't know about it. And so this death toll continues because of a gap between evidence and action. You know, when we think of the word innovation in global health, I think particularly at meetings like this one, we tend to think that it must mean developing new technologies, like new medicines, new vaccines, new diagnostics. But innovation also means closing the gap between what we know and what we do. And there's been an explosion of research in recent years on how we can close that gap, on how we can drive evidence into global health policy, build better bridges between researchers and policymakers. They need to connect. They need to really get to know each other and their needs, their values, their priorities. Deliver evidence to policymakers in what I like to call doses. Short, punchy summaries that are quick to read and really easy to grasp. Because let's face it, busy policymakers simply ignore evidence when it's presented to them in a complicated way full of scientific jargon. And give those doses of evidence at the right time, ideally just before a really big policy decision is about to be made, because that's when evidence can have its really biggest impact. E2PI, the Evidence to Policy Initiative in the Global Health Group here at UCSF, we've shown that by building these bridges and delivering carefully timed doses of evidence, we really can help to drive evidence into global health policy. We helped, for example, to persuade aid agencies that they really should prioritize the scale-up of zinc tablets and oral rehydration solution. And what we want to do now is to replicate this model in low-income countries themselves. What we want to do is to help build a new global cadre of evidence entrepreneurs who will act as a bridge between the research and the policy communities, a global E2PI. Let me give you a specific example. Here's Rona Majumbi, a medical doctor. She's just finished a pilot project in Uganda in which she worked as an evidence entrepreneur, delivering doses of evidence to Uganda's Ministry of Health, to NGOs, to aid agencies, responding rapidly to their evidence needs. And the effect was transformative. Here's just one of her success stories. Micronutrient deficiency, that's not getting enough vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, zinc, iodine, that's one of the biggest killers of women and children in Uganda. One effective intervention is to mandate that food companies must add micronutrients to their food products, like flour and cooking oil. And Rona, she delivered this evidence, this life-saving evidence on mandatory food fortification to the Ugandan government. And they got it, they're acting on it, lives will be saved. And the great news, the really great news today at this TED conference is that Rona's skills are totally trainable. 
Evidence entrepreneurs need training in understanding health research, in effective writing skills, and in shaping health policies. And with these three skills, they can deliver powerful, life-saving doses of evidence to the right people at the right time. So now, along with other universities like Makerere in Uganda, McMaster in Canada, we are trying to create a new kind of global Peace Corps, a global E2PI. We're aiming for 300 Ronas all around the world. That's two evidence entrepreneurs in every Ministry of Health of every low- and middle-income countries, taking knowledge off the shelf and driving it into action. Because it's life or death for 5 million children a year. Thank you.